Style and rail doors can have one or more panels, even sectioned glass panels. Like crown molding, they come in a wide selection of profiles. If they're making a paint grade door, they use poplar. If the door surface will be stained, they use a wood species the customer ordered. The many choices range from oak and cherry to maple and African mahogany. They feed the rough lumber through a planer that has three stations. The first two successively shave the top and bottom to reduce the piece to the required thickness. The third station has multiple saw blades, which cut the piece into several strips. Workers line up those strips side by side and coat one side with glue. Then they transfer the wood strips to the table of a clamping machine, repeatedly sandwiching one piece of linear strand lumber in between the glued sides of two solid wood strips. Linear strand lumber, LSL for short, is a piece of lumber made from glued wood fibers. A robot clamps the strips tightly to the LSL core. This assembly stays clamped on the machine for an hour for the glue to dry. Then they put this engineered lumber through a glue spreader to coat the top and bottom surfaces with heat-activated glue. They sandwich the lumber between two paper-thin sheets of wood, known as veneer. For a paint-grade door, instead of wood veneer, they use ultra-thin MDF, medium-density fiberboard, a man-made material with a smooth, paint-friendly surface. They place the pieces into a hot press for two minutes. The heat activates the glue, while the pressure flattens the veneer against the lumber, forming a cohesive unit. These pieces will become the doors, styles, and rails. To produce the panel inside those styles and rails, workers contour a piece of MDF with a shaper machine. For a stained door, workers veneer the MDF beforehand. They interchange the head on the machine to cut different profiles. Now back to those engineered wood pieces for the styles and rails. With a different shaper machine, workers have profiled the inside edge of the styles. They've also drilled holes to receive the dowels of the adjoining rails. After applying glue, they attach the similarly profiled bottom rail to the first style. They insert the panel into a groove in the rail and style. This is a two-panel door, so they fit a middle rail, another panel, a top rail, then the second style. They place the now-assembled door in the same type of clamping machine as before, only larger. It applies pressure on the door for an hour while the glue dries. Workers then transfer the machine to a cutting table, where a computer-guided saw trims the top and bottom of the door. The machine then switches to a different tool and bevels the edge of the door. It switches tools again and machines holes for the door hardware. The style and rail door is now ready for finishing. Workers sand the surface to prepare it to receive wood stain, or if it's a paint grade door, primer. Workers apply the stain or primer manually with a spray gun. The stained doors then receive a coat of sealer and two coats of clear lacquer to protect the wood surface. The panels in style and rail doors are never glued in place. They sit inside the frame. This leaves space for the wood and MDF to naturally expand with seasonal humidity without warping or cracking the door.